Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Writer-director Mike Flanagan is no stranger to horror thanks to his Stephen King adaptations and his series like The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor. His latest series, Midnight Mass, is mentally jarring just like the others. All seven episodes will be available to stream on Netflix September 24th, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies. Crockett Island, population 127, is that small town where everybody knows each other's history for the good and the bad. Riley Flynn, played by Friday Night Lights' Zach Gilford, is the prodigal son who's returned home after four years in jail following a drunken fatal car accident. He's starting his life all over with nothing but a reputation that will haunt him. His mother tells him, this isn't a community anymore, honey. This is a ghost. It's a religious, old-timey town where people gather for church daily. They're taken aback when their beloved Monsignor uh, doesn't show up, but instead a younger Catholic priest named Father Paul Hill, played by Hamish Linklater. The cozy community is turned upside down after strange occurrences and miracles start to present themselves after the arrivals of Riley and Father Paul. The rest of this ensemble includes Flanagan Company members like Henry Thomas, Kate Siegel, Raoul Coley, Smith Sloyan, and Annabeth Gish. Now, don't expect this to be the next iteration of the Haunting series. It's different in tone and execution, but still retains those qualities that Mike Flanagan infuses in his work that really resonate with the audience. Midnight Mass starts off as a slow burn. Flanagan takes his time setting up the community of Crockett Island. And despite the population size, it's quite diverse and with its given its nickname, the Crockpot. There's a generational divide at play with the older residents who are quite content in this town versus Riley and Kate Siegel's Aaron who feel a bit stuck and trapped at where their lives have ended up. Aaron is single and pregnant and uses this time to reconnect with her old friend Riley, you know, never judging him of his past. This divide also manifests in some racism with Raoul Coley's character. He's the town sheriff whose Muslim beliefs don't sit well with certain members of the community. Here's a really powerful monologue in the sixth episode that is just one of the best and most powerful moments in the whole series. Hamish Linklater keeps Father Paul a mystery, and it's evident from early on that there's something off about him. Flanagan doesn't try to reassure us that he's simply a substitute pastor. There's a built-in intrigue as he gets fired up in his homilies about renewal and resurrection and what that really means. Linklater's at his best when he gets to be truly untethered in the role. Zach Guilford is equally compelling as Riley. He has a really youthful presence with an open and vulnerable soul, but like so many, he has that inner saboteur. This inner conflict leads to a larger debate into how we suppress that with religion or alcohol as our quick fix. Now, as the episodes carry out, there's a battle with deep-rooted faith versus science that Flanagan is exploring. And for some people, it's really hard to understand how God works in the face of tragedy. Now, the first three episodes seems uh, rich in this religious turmoil. Flanagan then cranks up the inexplainable in the back half of the season. He goes to some pretty extreme and supernatural places, manifesting elements of the Bible that may seem disturbing or unrealistic. What transpires is truly shocking, and the less you know going in, the better. Flanagan isn't afraid to just shake up this community and his audience. Now, if that may seem like a turnoff, know that Mike Flanagan has written some really powerful monologues that will just sit with you, that are then delivered by this exceptional cast. Throughout Midnight Mass, he takes you on a wild ride, narrowing in on the journey that many of us have with our faith. I'm giving Midnight Mass four and a half out of five ticket subs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got some other movie reviews, as well as interviews with this cast. I had a blast talking to all of them, so you'll definitely want to check out those interviews. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Midnight Mass. This is Paul's trip to the movies.